One sunny morning at Silverhatch Racetrack, something quite remarkable was happening. It looked like Tintop was going to get around the track without a scratch. Tintop, let's get you fixed up. <sighs> Is it two or three times I've told you back to the pits this week, Tintop? Ah, no. It's four, Plugger. There you go, Tintop. As good as new. <laughs> Thanks, Big Chris. <laughs> Morning, everyone. I've just got off the phone to Mr Carburetta. Oh, you'll never guess who he's showing around Silver Hatch track this afternoon. Hugo Amarillo, the racing car designer. Hugo Amarillo? Oh, he's gorgeous. He's not that special, Marsha. Yes, well, <clears throat> Hugo likes things to be shiny and perfect. So, um, Tintop, I've got to ask you to keep out of the way for a while huh? until Hugo's gone. I'm really sorry. Oh, that's okay, Marsha. But that's not fair. Tintop is a part of the race team. Rory's right. How about it if we all make sure that Tintop stays in tip top condition? Yeah! Please, please, Marsha. <gasps> okay. But he needs a good clean up and make sure he doesn't bump into anything. <laughs> Thanks, Marsha. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> right. Now, this is the plan. You all get to meet Hugo Amarillo. But Mr. Carburetta wants you, Maxie, to race a lap on your own. <gasps> oh, fantastical! They must have practiced. <laughs> that tickles. That tickles, big crap. You shouldn't go around getting so many dents in you then. No! <laughs> Oh, that's cool. That's cool, Big Chris. Oh, no, it's cool. <laughs> stop it, I'm tickling. I'm tickling. Stop. Stop it, stop it. Doing a flash. Flash uh, is going to attempt uh, the record for the longest tyre mark on the uh, Silver Edge race track. You mean you're going to try and beat the Tin Tops record? That's a 30 metres. Easy peasy. <gasps> I got to tell the others. Get ready, Malcolm. Here I go. Mr. Carbrett is going to be pleased if he performs like this for Hugo Amarillo. Oh, I wish I was racing for him today. Your time will come, Rory, lad. Oh, we might not be racing for him, but at least I'll meet him now I'm all polished and shiny. That's right, Tintop. Everyone gets a time to shine. And remember, you still owe the record for the oh? longest tyre mark. Dad said if a flash hasn't broken it, huh? he's having a go. Good to know. I said, what? <laughs> Tintop, come back. What about Mr Carburetta? Don't worry, Big Chris. I'll make sure he stays in one piece. <laughs> Thanks, Rory, lad. <laughs> 10 metres. <laughs> 11 metres. <laughs> 12 metres. Oh! Whoa! Sorry, Tim Top. I promised Big Chris and Marsha you'd stay in tip top condition for Hugo's visit. <sighs> I thought it's what you wanted too. 
<sighs> it is. It's just that the tire mark record, well, it means a lot to me, boy. 31 meters! Woohoo! I did it! I suppose it's congratulations. You beat my record. I'm the hair with the flare. <laughs> Well, if you made that tyre, Mark, no. you can clean it up, Flash. This track has got to be spotless. Mr Carburetto and Hugo Amarillo will be here in half an hour. Ah, this is Marsha. Marsha. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Oh, and you too, Senor Hugo. <clears throat> this is a big crease. Yeah. What is it? Is this the way to Hugo Amarillo? <laughs> <laughs> Ste hey, steady, steady. This is Rory. Hello. This is Drifter. And my little cutesy, Cece. <laughs> And this is uh, Tin Tag. Actually, actually, his name's Tin Top, Mr. Carburetto. Oh, see. <laughs> a top tin. Uh, this is what I say. <laughs> now I have uh, saved the best. <laughs> Till the last. Our star card. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. He's so wonderful, Mr. Carbaretta. <laughs> uh, can you hear something? Is, is that Flash? Get off the track! Maxi is racing! Ah! <laughs> It is an honor to present the TikTok. TikTok? Yes, that's what I said. With this rosette for his bravery. And so inspired am I that I will now design a new rugged car based on the marvelous Tintac. TikTok! What? Me? Really? Oh, get out of here, you guys. <laughs> Tintop realised Big Chris was right. He did have a time to shine. But that wasn't all. In saving the day, he also got back his record for the longest tire mark on the Silver Hatch track. It wasn't all hard work at Silver Hatch Racetrack. Sometimes Rory and his friends had time for fun. <laughs> Later, what? with a real band. You mean with music and dancing? Oh, can we come? <laughs> of course you can, Rory. Wow. We're going to be inviting everyone at Silver Hutch. I know. I, I could invite them for you. Um, 
Oh, w will you dance with me, Cece? <laughs> Maybe, Cherie. When I was a young boy, I thought I'd be a star. I love to sing and play my songs on my daddy's old guitar. Now I'm a little older, nothing's really changed. I sing my favorite songs just the same. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm filling up here. Go out. Tears. Oh, Mary Bowles. You're such a good singer. Oh, you like my new song, do you? I'd love to be able to, to make music and, uh, and be up on stage and in the spotlight. Oh, just a dream. Ah, but dreams sometimes come true, Malcolm. <laughs> Hello, Silverhatch, Marsha speaking. Can I pass a message on to Farmer Green? Oh, OK, then. Right. Barney and the Barnstormers can't make it because Barney's got a cold. Uh, I don't quite understand. Could you...? Hello? Hello? Oh. Oh. oh, where am I? Flesh, <laughs> are you there? Oh, oh, there you are. What do you want? Oh, uh, I was just uh, wondering if you, uh, if you think I've got uh, any chance of uh, ever making it uh, <gasps> as a musical mole. No. Oh. Uh, listen, listen. <clears throat> I am a mole, oh, oh, and I've got solely only. Chew my carrots, Malcolm. Uh, how can uh, I put this? That was terrible! Don't even think about becoming a musical mole! Oh. Uh, Big Chris, have you ever heard of Barney and the Barnstormers? Have we ever heard of Barney and the Barnstormers? Too right, eh, off petal. I've always wanted to sing with a band like them. Why do you ask? Guess what? Have B and Farmer Green are having a barn dance later with a real and, and we're all invited! A barn dance? Well, that's what this message was all about. Uh, I'm afraid I've got some bad news, Rory. The band can't make it. Barney's got a cold. Could you let Farmer Green know? Oh, no, it hasn't been cancelled. Oh, what? That's a shame. We really oh, wanted to dance with Cece. I am choked. <sighs> I need some oil. <laughs> Maybe I can find some in the workshop. Flash! Moustache! <laughs> mm. oh. <coughs> oh, messy molehills. All Flash's bits and pieces make lovely sounds. Dig, dig a dog. Dig, dong, dong, ding, dong, dong, ding, ding, dong. Barney's got a cold. What are we going to do about the barn dance? We'll just have to cancel it. Oh! <laughs> what fantastic sounds this stuff makes. Ding, ding, a bong, bong. Ding, bong. Music. Where's it coming from? Ding, dong, bong. Ding, ding, dong, bong. Ding, ding, a bong, bong. Ooh, well, maybe Flash would like to hear this when he gets back. <laughs> Maybe not. What are you doing round here, Rory Waxbucket? Listening to music. Where is it coming from? I can't hear any music. It's stopped now. Oh, you would wash out your wing mirrors, Rory. You're hearing things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if only I could make proper music like Big Chris. 
What am I saying? I'll never be a musical bowl. No, forget it, Malcolm. <laughs> I'd have loved to have seen you sing at the barn dance. Pity it was cancelled. I know, son. It's a shame, but it can't be helped. Hey, where's that polish gun? <gasps> it's that music again! Hey, it's Molly! Um, uh, well, what have I done now? You've made brilliant music, that's what! I didn't know you were such a well, musical mole! Oh, well, neither did I. Hey. You've just given me an idea of how we can have our barn dance after all. <clears throat> Welcome to the Silver Hatch Barn Dance. Let me introduce you to the band. On lead vocals, we have Big Chris. Making the music, we have Malcolm and the Molehills. Into, Malcolm, I told you to forget all this music, Lark. Take it away, Malcolm. I always love my music and the way it makes me feel. I always <laughs> want to sing my song again. <laughs> when I hear the music and the feeling that it brings, I always want to sing. Sing with me, Malcolm. Come, come on. Oh, I've always at last I got my dance with you, Cece. <laughs> I have to admit it, Malcolm. I was wrong about you being a musical mole. You're brilliant. I always want to sing. That was champion. You know what? I reckon we should do it all over again. Don't you? Malcolm found out that he was a musical mole after all, thanks to Rory. The music and dancing continued long into the night. When I hear the music and the feeling that it brings, I always want to sing. Marsha and Big Chris had had a busy day and were just locking up for the night when Mr. Carburetor arrived with some surprising news. Big Chris, I've got a special visitor arriving. I want the cars looking their best for a car display to remember. Oh! <laughs> I want the music. Oh, I want the everything. Of course, Mr. Carburetta. Now, when exactly would you like this display? Ah, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? tomorrow? You can... Well, we'll have to work through the night to get everything ready in time. It's it's freezing and all. Good night. See you bright and early. Uh-oh. I'd better clean all this oil up before anyone notices. Oh. <laughs> Right, get some rest, you lot. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. You've all got to be up bright and early for another check and an extra polish. <sighs> no, no, it's... no, no, Big Chris. No, 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 no Big Chris. Chris. I can't wait for the special display today. I think I'll go and just have a little practice. We'll light them up. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like an early morning stroll. <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh. The water must have frozen when I washed away the oil. <laughs> Time I was near.
you won't like a slippy track. Not when we're doing a display. I better go and tell her. Was it bigger crazy? He told us to be up early. Ah, oh, no, it's getting late. We should be ready by now. Ah, oh, oh, Look at the time. Look at the time. Oh dear, sleeping, did we? <laughs> very funny. Very funny, Rusty. Here, Big Chris. Haven't you forgotten something? No. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not dressed. I'm not dressed. I've got to get dressed. Where my pants? <laughs> Yes, right. Yes, of course we have, yes. Oh, I will, sir. yes. Hello, yes. I was yes. just no, wondering no, about the track. You see, yes, it's a bit... Sorry, I'm a bit busy now. I'll chat to you later. Mm. Okay. Yes, and, and... I'll tell Big Chris and Yance oh, instead. Oh, yes, no. Come on, Drifter, give us some reds. Come on. Oh! Loader, loader, loader. Chris, Big Chris, the track is all slippy and shiny and skid slow. Yes, is that OK? It sounds fine to me. Are you sure? Hmm. Megsy knows a bit. Oh, OK, then. Well, at least I've had some practice. Uh, yes, that's right. We have a special guest arriving. Hey! <gasps> that's Helly bringing Mr Carburetor. Oh, dear. I I've got to check the track before we start. Okay, gang, are we ready? Come on, come on. As Look smart, big see. smiles. Here they come. In my cars are tuned and polished to perfection. Don't forget the music. Hey, Chris, there's a huge patch of ice at Skid Slope. There's, what there's are we going one. to do? The, the, the cars, the cars can't drive on ice. It's too dangerous, Marshall. They'll, they'll, they'll get wrecked. Uh, uh, Mr. Carburetor, huh? uh, yes, uh, we've got a, a tiny bit of a problem. <laughs> Cancel! Are you crazy? Don't you know how important this is? This display will go ahead. Oh, no. Sorry, Big Chris. I tried. Press this, to press. Testing. Oh. Oh, we're on here. OK, you lot. Let's be careful out there. One, two, three, four, five, go! It's a racing car display. We hope you have a real fine day. The cars are polished nice and bright. They really make a lovely sight. This is a racing car display And I don't know what to say Where are they going? Don't they know? What are they doing now? Oh, no! This is it! Be careful, everyone! We're coming up to the slippy bit! No! Oh, this is no trouble to me! Ah! Oh! Mamma <laughs> It never stopped. What's going on? Whoa! Huh? Rory, how did you do that? Easy, Maxie. Just turn your wheel into the slide and don't break too heavily. Watch. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Can you show us how to do that, Rory? Of course! Asha, <laughs> what are they doing? This is supposed to be a display! I, 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 I don't know, Mr. Carburetor. Oh, look at me! Check me out! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I can do a double loop. Watch! For the drifting, this is perfect conditions. Oh, this is a disaster! You two are... are... fired! Huh? I've never seen anything quite like it! Oh, it's amazing! Uh, it's simply yes. splendid! Mr. Carburetor, may I say, this has been an honour and a joy. I, 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 I can't wait till I get home and tell the wife, because it, she will be so interested. Normally, when I witter on about cars, she just switches off, but I can guarantee that she... It was absolutely wonderful. I am lost for words. Hooray! Oh, oh, yes! Bellissimo! Well, pump my tyres. With a little bit of practice, Rory had saved the day. 
Mr. Carbretter's display was a roaring success, and Big Chris and Marsha weren't fired after all. <laughs> this is our racing car display. We hope you had a real fun day. We will make you proud when we hear the cars in here. It was a beautiful day at Silver Hatch. Today, Rory and Maxie were going to test some of Farmer Green's new beetroot fuel. Big Chris was in a singing mood. I got a hard chrome, a mobile home. My engine's tuned, I got shiny shoes, cause I'm a motor man. He's a motor man. Oh, I'm a motor man. A motor man. I don't know where my spanner is, I don't know where's my hat, but I can fix a tire. Seconds flat, cause I'm a motor man. Oh, baby, come on! I got oil in my hands, I got grease on my chin, I got a microphone. Let the race begin! Cause I'm a motor man. He's a motor man. Oh, I'm a motor man. A motor man. I don't know where my spanner is, I don't know where's my hat, but I can fix a tire in 30 seconds flat, cause I'm a motor man. Thank you very much, thank you, thank you. Big Chris has left the workshop. But, morning, Chris. <laughs> Are you OK, Marsha? Uh, bit of a cold. <laughs> now, Mr Carburetta called to say that he wants Rory and Maxie to test the new... ...beetroot <laughs> fuel from Farmer, Farmer Green. Beet what? Beetroot fuel. Oh, you sound terrible, Marsha. I think you should take the rest of the day off. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> There's calls to make, the fuel testing to organise, flags to signal. But, but, but I can do all that for you, Marsha, look. Well, and, and I'll help too. OK. But let's see if you know the flags first. Right. The green flag starts the cars. Yeah. And the red to stop them in emergencies. Right, yeah. And black and white to warn the cars to behave. I uh, got it, yeah. <laughs> And a yellow flag for caution. It's used to warn the other cars that there's danger on the track. Got all that? Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Just you go and get some rest. Get in bed. <laughs> oh, poor Marsha. Oh, she sounded rough, didn't she? Still, this could be fun, this. <laughs> hey, you like this? Go, guys, go. The, the red flag, flag means stop. Oh, uh, yeah, of course it does. You're going to have to help me remember all of this, Rory. I'm not normally in charge of flags. Right, Farmer Green will be here soon. Come on, boys. There you go, Big Chris. All filled up with my new organic beetroot fuel. Thanks, Farmer Green. Come on, FB. We'd better get back to the farm and start making up some more. Right, you first, Rory. Oh, oh, dear, what a mess! I'd better get this cleaned up. Oh, no. The flags, the, the stained. What am I going to do? I know. P put them in the washing machine. Good idea, Rory. What's one of them? Oh. I'm kidding. Ooh. Right, that's the flags in the wash. Now what? Ah, oh yeah. We'll fill Maxi up with fuel. Ooh. Oh. How am I supposed to get my beauty sleep with all that racket going on, eh? Oh, pal, look at this, Emma. She's jobby, she's a doddle. Oh, hey, oh, phone's ringing. Hello? Yes, Mr. Carbretter, sir, yeah. No, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Don't, don't he go on, don't he? <laughs> no, of course, I haven't forgotten about the fuel testing. Straight away, sir. OK. I... Should... All right, turn on. He wants us to start testing the fuel right now. Big Chris, you need the flags before you start the fuel test. Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me, Rory. <laughs> no problem. I'll make sure everyone's ready on the track. Oh, no! The washing machine hasn't finished its spin. I'll have to use something else to signal instead. What have I got here? 
What? Oh, aye. Oh, aye, yeah. These are the right colours. These will do. Everything's ready, Big Chris. Have you got the flags? Yeah, of a fashion. Um, well, maybe I'd better stay in the pits in case you need a hand. Maxi, you'll have to test that new fuel on your own against the others. Fantastico! Oh, uh, what colour do I need to start the race? Green! Thanks, Rory. Right. One, two, three, four, five... To do that, Lugger, come here. Huh? Step on it. Hurry up. Avance it. Is it the red flag for when they're being naughty? Is it red, Rory? No, the black and white one. Black and white. Got you. Here, look. Black and white. <laughs> What's the big Chris waving his socks for? Trying to get rid of the smell. It's not working. Black and white, look. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, no, Drifter has stalled and he's blocking the track. That could cause an accident. Oh, I'll have to warn the others. <laughs> to warn the cars of danger on the track. But these are all I've got. There's no way they'll miss those. <laughs> danger, Ooh. danger, stop, stop. <laughs> Look at the pants. Is that Chris waving his underpants? Slow in down. <laughs> Look at the underpants. Yellow means Ooh. danger. Ooh. Oh. Oh. You oh. shucks. Thanks, guys. We thought you were just fooling around. <laughs> it was the pants that did it. <laughs> OK, OK. At least you're all still in one piece. Let's get you all off the track so I can help Drifter. What a day. Oh, time for a sit-down and a nice cup of tea. Hello, Marsha. Uh, are you feeling better? Much better, thank you. Now, how was the new fuel? Fantastic! Great! Um, have you seen my flags? Uh, well, Big Chris had a little accident, so, uh, they're in the wash. How on earth did you signal to the cars on the track? We, um, used something else. Oh, stop, stop! The, the cars are coming, they're coming at me! <coughs> Oh, Marcia. I know all about the flags. Oh, you do. But I also happen to know that if you and Rory hadn't acted so quickly, there would have been a terrible accident. So well done, Big Chris. I think it's time to um, change your underpants. Sure. Well. For these flags. Eh? Oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> see? And so Chris learned that Marsha's job was harder than it looked. Maybe he needs more practice with the flags. All the cars were waiting for Big Chris. It was unlike him to be so late. At last he arrived, but he was not happy. Sorry I'm late, everyone. Sorry I'm late. I've not had my breakfast yet. Oh, no. My, my fridge is empty. Oh, this is no good. I can't work on an empty tummy. Just like you lot can't drive on an empty tank. If I just had some eggs and milk, that'd do. And then I could make a... Oh, I could make a scrumptious omelette. I can taste it. Well, why don't I race to Farmer Green's farm shop and get some? No, no, it, it's it's all right, Rory. It's... Would you? Would you do that? Would you? Just get me six eggs and a bottle of milk. Go on. You bet, Big Chris. Light them up. 
Right, no sense in us all going hungry. Who's for a fill up? Uh, me. Me. me! Me, please! Oh, yeah. me. Oh, please. Me. 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 <laughs> I'll worry up, Malcolm. Don't rush me, Flash. I don't want to make any mistakes fixing your skateboard, do I? Hmm? <laughs> I was like Rory, whizzing around a racetrack, speeding along, fast as you like. Hello, young Rory. What can I do for you, then? Could I have six eggs and a bottle of milk for Big Chris's breakfast, please? Oh, there you go. Now, a word of warning. Eggs are easily broken and milk is easily spilt. So go easy, eh? Huh? I'll try, Farmer Green. Thanks! Oh, no! Oh, did FB! Be careful, huh? I just told Rory to take it easy, and you should too. Sorry, Farmer Green. <sighs> so, Rory, you'll be wanting some more eggs and milk, then. Mm, thanks, Farmer Green. Where are you, Rory? Oh, if you don't get here soon, Rory, everyone will be calling me Little Chris. I'm starving! Hey, Chris! What about my oil change? I'm, I'm sorry, Maxie, but you're going to have to wait, wait son. son. Maxie will have to wait? Oh, no one waits on my racetrack. <laughs> right. Oh. Uh, nearly finished. <laughs> flash! <laughs> Got a dash! Oh. <laughs> I said I've nearly finished. Oh, dear. Hello, Rory. Fancy a race. Sorry, Flash. I've got to drive really carefully. Slowly, more like. You'll never be a racing car going at that speed. <laughs> Big Chris did say he was really hungry. So the quicker I get the milk next to him, the better. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back to Farmer Green's farm shop again. Oh, and I'm really hungry now. <laughs> um, you might be needing this. Uh, what is it? Your brake pad. It helps you to stop. <sighs> One little omelette. That's all I need. One little... One little omelette. That's all I need! One ah. little omelette. <coughs> What's all this about cars having to wait, Big Chris? We need to get moving. Engines tuned, tyres warmed and cars lapping. But the Marsha, Bigger Chris has run out of fuel. He is waiting for Rory to bring him his breakfast. Oh, dear. We can't work on an empty tank. It's so important to fill up in the morning. Oh, hurry up, Rory. Oh, right, he's cut all the way from the back of the grid, like... And he's going to win by miles. What a formula form your truck he is. Go, go, go! Oh, FB, there is a time and a place for everything. And this is neither. Oh, sorry, Farmer Green. Oh, I think we need to find you something to keep you out of mischief. Oh, back again, Rory. Guess what, Farmer Green? Oh, don't tell me. I've only got one bottle of milk and six eggs left. And now I'm hungry too. Have you got any fuel for me? Sorry, Rory. FB delivered all the fuel to Silver Hatch yesterday. Oh. Look, it might be an idea for FB to go with you, show you how to deliver properly, and be on hand should you run out of fuel. Hey, hey, 
That means we can roll along the racetrack together. Oh, wait, wait. Slowly, remember. Slow and sure wins this race. Thank you, Farmer Green. Oh, my poor tummy. Voila! <gasps> Here comes Rory! Oh, thank goodness. Maybe I can get to my oil change now. Oh, no, it, it sounds like Rory's got the same <gasps> problem as me. <laughs> Oh dear! I'll get help! Right away! Uh, don't move! Oh, me! Rory sounds it off. That's not Rory's engine. Look, that's FB! Uh, come quick! Uh, Rory's uh, run out of fuel! Uh, oh, poor Rory. This is all my fault. I should have filled him up this morning. Did I hear there's a car in distress? You certainly did, Plugger. Poor Rory is stuck on the track. He's only run out of fuel. Not a problem. No need to race. Plugger's on the case. Well, let me tell you, that was magic. Absolutely beautiful. That omelette certainly stretched my belt. Look at this. Look at this. Uh. Pardon me. <laughs> I know how you feel, Big Chris. <laughs> Pardon me, too. <laughs> hey, right then. Let's give you that oil change, Maxie. Yay! Uh, but, but Chris, I, I was wondering if, if if there was a little job you could do first. Oh? What's that, Rory? One, two, three! Good luck, FB! That farm truck really knows how to drive. Lovely, lovely cornering. That's it. Look at that. Look at the way it's turning there. That's beautiful, that. <laughs> That's... Look at that. Great driving, FB. Well done, FB. This is for raising the alarm. And finishing the slowest but surest lap that Silver Hatch has ever seen. And oh. this is for you, Rory, for keeping going. <laughs> Thanks, Big Chris. <laughs> Thanks to some spilt milk and a few broken eggs, Rory realised that there were times when it was important to be slow and sure if he wanted to win a race. <laughs> it was a beautiful day at Silver Hatch Racetrack, and the cars were practising their lap times. <laughs> Is not right. Big Chris, the car's lap times are no better than yesterday. But I, but I got them all tuned up as good as new. Whip me fingers to the bone this morning, I did, Mr. Carbretter, sir. Then is something is wrong. Tell me, are you using the computer I bought you to help tune the car's engines? Well, I use it sometimes. There's a door wedge. But you know me, I like to listen and feel how an engine is working. I don't want to listening and feeling, OK? All of the other racing teams, they use the computers to get the cars running tip-top. You've got to do it too. Meet me in the garage in ten minutes and they make sure the computer is ready to go. Oh, dear. What's going on, Big Chris? Mr. Carbrett is going to show me how to use the computer, Rory. But you know how to use the computer. He's here, he's here. I see you were in Marsh's overalls, Mr. Carbrett, sir. They're a bit tight, aren't they? <laughs> now, let me show you how the tune up is really done. Maxi! See you, boss man! Now then, we plug the computer yeah. into Maxi's engine here. And see, the computer tells us exactly what Maxi needs to make him go faster. So now, we do the work. It seems like the computer is doing your job for you. A computer is just a tool, Rory. 
It's the person who's using it that counts. There. What do you say? We give him my maxi a test on the track. See if he can beat his lap time. OK, Mr C, but it'll make no difference. I tell you, he was already in top condition. But, but, if you must... seconds faster than his last uh, lap time. I think uh, you use the computer to fix the cars all the time now, eh, Big Chris? Yes, Mr Carburetor, sir. Gee, Big Chris, that computer of yours sure hits the spot. Great. I'm very happy for your tin top. Mm -hmm. How is it going, Big Chris? You are using the computer all the time, I hope? Yes. I haven't smelt, felt or listened to an engine all afternoon. Ah, good. It's better not to be so old-fashioned, no? Thinking about what you do isn't old-fashioned, Mr Carbretter, sir. You can't have a machine telling you what to do all the time. Looking after this lot, well, it's like looking after a family. You have to think about what needs doing. The computer's great, but it, it takes all the fun out of the job if you use it for everything. Fun? You are not here to have fun. You are here to mend cars and make them go faster. OK, OK, just let me get a cup of tea and a donut. Ah, no! There's too much tea and the donuts around here and not enough work. Mr Carburetor, sir, with all due respect, if I can't enjoy my work and I can't enjoy my tea and donuts, I think, I think it's time I left Silver Hatch. Time you left the Silver Hatch? Yes. Good. Right, fine. Fine by me. OK, then. Arrivederci. She will. Bye-bye. OK, right, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm going. What, what, this is me now walking out. I'm outside now. Maybe now we get to this garage running properly. No! Big Chris! Big Chris! You can't go! Let me come with you! No, Rory. Silver Hatch is the best place in the world for a, a young racing car like you. You can't come with me, son. I'm sorry. Where, where will you go? I don't know. Out there, somewhere. I've got an half sister in Newport Pagnell. I've seen her in years. What a mechanic's got to do, what a mechanic's got to do. And I'm just an, an old-fashioned car mechanic. Anyway, I'll see you, Rory. I know you got some. Look, light him up. <laughs> Hello, Rory. What's Attention. going on? Attention, everyone. Now, we're all sad that the big Chris has gone. Uh, gone? But now it's time for Silver Hatch to run like a proper race track. From now on, it's early to bed, early to rise, no tea, no donuts, and no playing. Huh? Uh, Mr. Carburetta, sir. I'm not sure all work and no play is very healthy. Oh, really, Marshal? Maybe you want to follow Bigger Chris and be a Marshal somewhere else? No, Mr Carburetor, sir. Right. We're going to have a test race. And anyone who doesn't do their best, better look out. <gasps> Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr Carburetor, Mr Carburetor, sir! Mr. Exhaust is a big firing, Mr. Carburetor. My suspension feels funny. Look at me, look at me. My electronics need checking, Mr. Carburetor. My wheel is not Big Chris, Big Chris, fix the cars, please. Oh, yes. I'm the mechanic now. Maxi, you first. But, Mr. Carburetor, my wheels are more important. Mr. Carburetor, my electronics will take longer. Yeah, OK, yeah. one at a time, please. Huh. See, see, yeah. There's only one man who can help us now. Me, Chris! What? Oh, scared me to death. I told you, Rory, you can't come with me, son. I want you to come with me. You what? Why? Because somebody needs you. Needs me? <laughs> no one needs me. We need you. 
happy, Chris. Your family. <coughs> Mr. Carburetta, there's a crash barrier down at Hairpin Bend. Can you it's repair it? Gravel at uh, oh, Tailspin Corner. Barriers, uh, gravel. Ay, ay, ay. How did the big Chris do all of this stuff? I need the big Chris. Somebody mention him. Big Chris. Big Chris. What are you doing here? Sounded like you needed some help. Help? No, yes. I think I do. Right, no problem. Watch out, I'm coming. Well, the worst, eh? Just a small hole needs filling. That needs a new spring. We need the computer on this one. But I thought you don't like computers. Don't like them? I love them. But I only use them when I need to. You can't rely on them for everything. See? I think I understand. Magnifico! Great race! I see now that there are no weaker links at Silver Hatch. Especially not with my chief mechanic. Thanks, Mr. Carbretter, sir. Great to be back to business as usual. Right, time for a cup of tea and a donut, I think. Ah, here you are, Big Chris. Two donuts. Mm, thank you. Oh, see, si, see, si. one for you and uh, one for me. Mr. Carburetor learned <laughs> that computers are only as good as the people who use. It was a quiet day at Silver Hatch, so Marsha said Malcolm could fulfil his dream of being Marshal for the day to do is follow my list. Right then, I'm sure I'll find something else to do. Good luck, Malcolm the Marshal. <laughs> Thank you, Marsha. Oh, oh, oops. Sorry. Excuse me, oh, Marsha. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, uh, Malcolm's got my list, and I'm sure everything will be all right, but you know what an again. important Excuse job me, being Marshal is. Um, well, Malcolm. I don't quite know what to do with myself. Hi, Marsha. I mean, get past you're there, always please. really Thank busy, you. aren't you, Big well, Chris? Oh, aye. Oh, yes, no danger. I've always got plenty to do. Busy, 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 busy. That's me, Marsha, love. Oh, <laughs> great. Well, that's settled then. I'll be your apprentice for the day. Oh, well, well I'm, uh, I'm not so sure about that. Would you like a cup of tea? Then again, then again, I am a bit thirsty, a bit parched. That'd be lovely, Marsha. Thank you very much. Hey, this might not be so bad after all, Rory. Might even get a chance to put my feet up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we doing now? Well, I'm servicing Drifter's hydraulics. Why? Why? What do you mean, why? So we can help him steer better, that's why. Have you not uh, got, you know, floor to sweep, a cast to polish, something like that? Done and done. Now I'd like to see what a real mechanic does. Ho <laughs> ho, well then, why do you say so? Step back and watch the master at work, love. Look and learn. Now, you put this bit in there, you see. You're getting all this. Uh, I think so. Then over this, you see. So you don't have to spin it round, right? Um, there you go. All oh. done. Back it's time for another cuppa. What do you say? And a, a donut, eh? Don't mind if I do. You know what I'm saying? Donut. There you go, Big Chris. What would you like me to do now? Well, now you've seen how it's done, why don't you have a go at servicing the hydraulics on the other cars while I take a breather? Uh, right. Sure, you know what you're doing, Marsha. I'm very sensitive, you know. Oh, don't worry, Maxie. But I'll be gentle. Uh, Big Chris is right here, so what could possibly go wrong? All I need to do is put that bit there. Oh, or, or, or is it there? Mm. Big Chris, is mm. this right? Yeah, that's uh, cracking, that's cracking. So, uh, mm -hmm. this bit goes over there, mm -hmm. like that. That's right, Marsha. Oh, oh, OK. Um, well, I think it's finished. Champion. Champion. Oh, thanks, Big Chris. See, Maxie, I told you everything would be all right, didn't I? Now, it's time to do the others. Um, 
Barsha, I need to speak to Big Chris. Oh, shh. He's sleeping. But there's lots to do. I have to remind him to uh, sweep floors, polish bonnets. Done. Uh, I've taken care of all uh, that. Check truck. What does that mean? He says track. Oh, speaking of the track, I think a couple of laps to check the car's hydraulics should do it. Come on, let's see how you're working now. One, two, three, four, five, go! Whoa! Ow! Oh! Ow! What's going on? This is crazy! I want to go back with it and move forward. What's the matter? <laughs> this is confusing! was supposed to run smoothly on my day as marshal. Zippy! Follow those cars! <whistles> hey, hey, hey! Oh, 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 this is right! Oh, What's going on? We can't drive properly! I'll try and stop! Yeah! I'm going faster instead! Oh, Rory, what happened? Uh, 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 I'm okay, but when I tried to brake, I went faster. Then when I turned right, I, I went left. Everything seems back to front. Oh, no. It's all my fault. I must have mixed up the hydraulics. I need to get you all back to the workshop. But how am I going to do that? I know. All we need to do is steer the opposite way to the way we want to go. Like this. I want to go right, so I turn left. Oh, brilliant! We can guide the others back to the workshop like that too. Eh? Where do you think you're going? Come back here, you. You can run, but you can't hide. <sighs> Well done, everyone. If Big Chris sees what I've done, I'll be in big trouble. So it's important I get you fixed before he wakes up. Oh, I'm not sure I can do this. I know you really wanted to be Marshal for the day, but you know a lot about cars and engines. Please, Malcolm, could you help me? Uh, I'd be delighted. Mm. If we had a diagram to help us, we could do this a lot quicker. I can help with that. What? <gasps> oh, brilliant! Come on, Malcolm. Let's get to work. Come on. Yeah. Let's see if we've done mm. it properly this time. Oh, oh. Off you go! Yeah. 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 <sighs> Sorry about that. Must have dropped off for a couple of seconds. 
Well, how's it going, Marcia? Yeah. Uh, uh, Marcia's been doing a great job, hasn't she? Oh, yeah, 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 she's well, 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 well done, Marcia. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. But I couldn't have managed without my best deputy <gasps> marshal, Malcolm. Yeah! <laughs> There you go, Marsha. Wow. It's your mechanic certificate. You can help me at any time you like, Flower. <clears throat> Thanks, Big Chris. Marsha and Malcolm decided to stick to their day jobs from now on, and everyone else agreed. 